In the last segment of The Art of Thinking, we discussed propositions and arguments. In this segment, we're going to discuss deductive arguments. A deductive argument is one in which, if the premises are true and the conclusion contains no information not in the premises, then the conclusion has to be true. Now, of course, the thing that we will argue about and discuss is whether or not the information in the premises are true. But what we're talking about is not the content of the argument, but the structure of the argument. A deductive argument is structured in such a way that if the premises are true and the conclusion contains nothing in it that is not in the premises, then the conclusion must be true. Consider the following example. One, <clears throat> all apples are fruits. That's premise one. Premise two, a Macintosh is an apple. The conclusion is a Macintosh is a fruit. We can see in this example how the first premise is true, the second premise is true, the conclusion contains no information in it, not in the premises, and therefore the conclusion also is true. But let's take a slightly different example. One, all apples are fruits. Two, a Macintosh is an apple. Conclusion. A Macintosh will make a fine pie. Now in this uh, example, <clears throat> the first and the second premises are true, but the conclusion contains information in it that is not in the premises. Now, that does not mean the conclusion is false. It simply means that the structure of the argument is such that we have no, we cannot rely on the basis of the argument in the truth of the conclusion. An argument that is structured this way is called invalid. A valid argument is one in which it is structured in such a way that if the premises are true, the conclusion is true. An invalid argument changes that by having a false premise, um, typically. Now let's take another example. <clears throat> All oranges are fruit. A Macintosh is an orange. Therefore, a Macintosh is a fruit. In this example, the conclusion is true, but the second premise is false. And therefore, we can have no reliability in the quality of this argument. True claims can be set in an argument <clears throat> that has an unreliable structure, and the flawed structure does not prove the conclusion false, but it does mean we can have no confidence in the conclusion. An argument is sound when it is both valid and true as was the case in our first example. In, next, in the next segment, we will talk about inductive arguments.